So it's Swerve versus Santos Escobar. Beth claims this feud is going on for a year now. I know it feels like forever. That seems like a long ass time. They both do dives. You go to break. They had a lot of time to work. This turned into a very good wrestling match. Dude, I thought this match was excellent, and I thought it was the best match that we have seen in all in the history of NXT 2.0. That's right. That, that, this I, was yes. history. Yes. You'd have to go back to NXT 1.0 to find a better match than this one. This three and three quarter star match was a five star NXT 2.0 match. So uh, all of uh, uh, Santos's flunkies hit the apron, but out come Carmelo Hayes and Trick. Is it Williams? Trick Williams. Williams. They, uh, is he a magician? I don't know what tricks he does. I don't know. But they wipe those guys out and Swerve pins Santos with the JLM driver. Yeah. So Trick and Carmelo are celebrating with Swerve. Vic is the only one paying attention to the storyline. He's mourning that NXT has now lost the North American title to SmackDown. But then they destroy him. Carmelo and Trick do. And Carmelo, who I believe was Wade, who called him, oh, you devious little man. Carmelo signs the contract he got for winning the top prospect tournament. We were told he would get any title match he wanted. Apparently now it's like uh, Money in the Bank. You can sign it whenever you want to get a match it immediately. So, I think, okay, he signs, he pins, and we move on. Nope, Swerve had to kick out of a move and make a comeback and then... No, in, in fact, he he was punching out uh, uh, Carmelo. Swerve, after this brutal match with Santos Escobar, was winning on Carmelo Hayes. And finally, Carmelo caught him with a bro kick and he John Cena slicing leg drop and counted three. It was, <laughs> it was awesome because, uh, I don't know if you know this, but they're plugging Chucky on the USA Network heavily. So as the show is ending, they put a Chucky graphic in the corner and the graphic is Chucky repeatedly thrusting a knife. And he's doing it virtually in the same cadence and time as the referee. So he is counting to swerve down with his knife, which is a great way to pin someone when we think about it. So Carmelo Hayes came out here looking like a total geek, got beat up and only won because he was totally worn down. What a great North American champion he is. This was a million times better than last week's show. Yeah, I did like the, uh, the main event a lot, but I didn't like the finish because at the end of the day... Swerve is leaving, and provided he does not come back next week, he's gone. And so if a guy's leaving, then to me, the logical finish would have been Santos Escobar beating him to win the title, and then Carmelo Hayes cashes in on Santos Escobar because they are both remaining, and then they can feud. Literally the only reason to put Swerve over is, coincidentally, a Swerve. Because everybody figured that Swerve's leaving, therefore he will lose, and so we will fool them by having Swerve win. Then once they've been fooled, then we'll put the title on some other guy. So you can still Swerve the people by having Swerve lose, but then the guy that beats him loses to a guy cashing in. Then you have a built-in storyline for down the road. But at the end of the day, this is not about built-in storylines. It's about just doing a bunch of shit. And so that's what I felt this finish was. And I think it would have been so much better had Escobar won and then been wronged so he could feud with a new champion. I mean, he'll probably still feud with a new champion anyway, yep. even though it doesn't make any sense, yep. but it's something to do. So, yes, yeah, so the show was much better than last week, but it still sucks. It's still NXT 2.0, yep. which is, is not, a, not a positive. CM Punk versus Garcia. Fast moving, neck breaker. Leg sub hold on. I got a P. P gets leg. <laughs> 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 this was ten and eight twenty one. Clothesline. Pil Pillman punches back and forth. How'd Pillman get in this match? <laughs> I don't know. How What's happening? It? If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.